Okay, introduce yourself. Good morning, my name is Martin Suarez. Okay, Martin, what type of dealership did you go to? Yesterday about 17, uh, 7, 15 p.m., I went to a Ford Lucas located on Route 130. Okay. Uh, I went home, I changed, took off my tie, picked up my old uh, 03 GMC Envoy, drove to the dealership, parked in front, uh, two salesmen were there, I got out of my car, within three minutes, uh, one approached me. Okay. His approach was very, how can I put it, very simple. Okay. He didn't introduce himself. What exactly did he say? Just came out and said, hello sir, can I help you? Oh boy. Right away I thought of you. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, gave you the open door. <laughs> I shook his hand, I said, hello, my name is Martin, uh, what is yours? That's when he gave me his name, Joe. He failed to give me a business card. Mm -hmm. uh, he asked me, uh, what are you doing? You know, and I, I went over to the Ford Focus. I was looking at it over, brown, looking at the sticker price. I thought he might see me in a big SUV gas guzzler and relate that I'm looking at a small, smaller vehicle that he might uh, pursue that, that I'm looking for a better gas mileage. Right. Uh, he, he, at the end, uh, within two or, three min two or three minutes of us just barely talking, he said, okay, I understand. Uh, I'll go inside if you need me, you have any questions, I'll wow. go inside. And he turned around, walked away. I continue looking at the Focus, uh, three different models that they had. He didn't ask me was I in what particular model was I interested in. Uh, would I be interested in anything else? He didn't conduct an interview? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Although very pleasant. Pleasant fella. Yeah. But uh, his approach towards me at the very beginning... Didn't make you feel important, did it? No. It, uh, he didn't attempt to okay. find out what my needs were. Right. I, I was assuming that if I walked in with an SUV and I'm looking at a smaller car that... Uh, Gas prices being what they would be, that exactly. would, uh, you know, try to sell me something. Right, it happens that all the time. The case. So there wasn't an interview, and without an interview, you can't go from a meet and greet to, how did you want to pay for this? And that's what too many people want to do. They want to figure out if you're going to buy today. Uh, they go right from how, hi, how are you? Can I help you? To how would you like to pay for this? And skip everything in the middle. So at that point in time, you're just operating on logic yes, and no emotion. Absolutely. And uh, he, he, first of all, he failed to give me a business card. If I chose to purchase a vehicle or have questions, at least I would have his full name. Did he ask you for your uh, phone number or email address? He did not ask me for anything. Do you know it's a requirement? And at, at, I told the class that you're not authorized to let a customer go until you do what? Touch exactly touch base with the management. And when do we stop? Who has authority to stop the sales process? Customer, the customer, the customer manager. manager. But he took it upon himself to stop the sales process, or not start one, mm -hmm. right? Right. So, you know, salespeople are required to do a manager turnover. They're required to take the information, log it into the customer database, as far as you know, name, phone number, address. So that way you can give the customer the proper follow up they deserve. None of that was do done, right? Absolutely not. Wow. So what would you have done different? Well, first of all, uh, I would have greeted him. Welcome to the dealership. Uh, offered him my business card. And uh, interviewed him. Exactly. To determine uh, what the right his vehicle. Looks are, what, what his likes are, what he's interested in. What is, uh, is he trading anything in? Right. And that would all be part of my interview. You would have started a process so that way later on you can further the emotional experience by the uh, feature benefit uh, product presentation and a demo drive. That is correct. And then, by then, now you have the right to ask for the business. Absolutely. Okay, round of applause.